Hey guys, my name is John Holton, and for my second video, I want to talk about setting up a Keycloak server using a Tomcat app and a Tomcat iframe app. Basically, what this allows you to do is your user will be able to log in once when they hit the main page, and then they will be able to access the subsequent child iframe app without having to log in again. First, I'm going to assume you have Tomcat 8 installed and configured. Same thing with Keycloak, and that you have Tomcat and Keycloak configured to work together. If you need assistance in setting that up, you can view my previous video, which I have linked in the description. So to start, we're going to make two new uh, apps. Right here, we see we have the iframe app and the iframe parent app, both within my Tomcat web application manager. So here, we see we have our two apps, iframe app, iframe parent app. So first, what we need to do is just make a little index page. I'm going to go ahead and open this up with Adam. All we want this little parent app to have is just a some titles showing that we're in the parent app, and then we want to have an iframe that links to our iframe app within Tomcat. Next, what we want to do is we want to set up the same stuff uh, from the previous video that we're going to need for Keycloak, which is the meta in folder with the context defining the valve, and the web in folder defining the Keycloak JSON file, and the web.xml file. Now, since the web.xml file is pretty similar between the parent app and the iframe app, I'm only just going to show one. So let's open up the iframe app. And here we see we have the display name and the description, which is used in the Tomcat Web Application Manager. And then I'm only going to define one security constraint, which is just accessing the main page. So here we have the security constraint for the iframe with the URL pattern of slash star, and that we need the role name of user and that we're also using Keycloak to authenticate. So I've already logged in to Keycloak and I've created a new uh, Keycloak realm called iframe. And what, the one thing we're going to need to do as well on the iframe realm, we're going to want to go into security defenses and we're going to want to change the xframe options. By default it is same origin, but we're going to want to change it to allow from uh, localhost uh, 8081 slash iframe app, which is the name of our iframe app that's trying to access our parent app which we want to authenticate against using Keycloak. So go ahead and make that change and click Save. After that, we're going to want to go into Clients and create two new clients, one called iframe app and one called parent app. Same general stuff, you're going to want to give it a client name uh, and you want to use OpenID Connect with a public access type and then you want your URI to be your iframe app since we're doing this for the iframe app. So now that we've created the two clients, we're going to want to go ahead and create a role uh, the role we're going to use for the tutorial is called user, and since I've already created mine, it's right here. So let's go ahead and make a user, actually, and assign this role to it. So like in the previous tutorial, I mentioned if you've already created a user, you need to click on view all users. So here's my user I've already created named John. If we go into him, he has the default stuff, which mostly it is blank, and the role user is assigned to him. What we want to do now is go back to our Keycloak clients and grab the Keycloak.json data from our, from our installation tab and assign it to our keycloak.json file in our Tomcat app. So navigating back to our Tomcat finder, so for our iframe app and for our iframe parent app, we're going to want to copy out the correct keycloak.json file and paste it in here. So I'm going to skip actually showing you to do that step since it was explained in the previous video. So now if we go back to our Tomcat web application manager and reload both of our apps, making sure to note that they've reloaded successfully. Let's go ahead and open up the parent app in a private browsing window. Since I'm using Chrome, I'm going to use incognito. It's going to ask us to log into iframe. So I'm going to log in with John using my password. And there we go. We've logged into the parent page and we have also authenticated with our iframe app. So what I'll show you now is I'm going to close this incognito window. And I'm going to open up just the iframe app. Here I'll be asked to log in. And there we go, we're just within the iframe app now. So it's just showing you that you can log in if you hit both the iframe app and the parent page from the parent page, or if you just hit the iframe app, you'll be asked to log in using the same credential for both pages. So that's basically it in a nutshell for setting up a Keycloak server uh, to use in a parent app within a subsequent iframe app. If you have any questions, let me know below. And there's also links to a PDF file that you can read through. Thanks guys.